Hi, this is Paulo Vitor, and here's my implementation of my final project for CS50's web programming Python and JavaScript. It's called Finance, and it's basically a web application to handling, organizing personal finances. So the first thing we have here is we have a login page in which you can also register new users with username, email, password, and confirm password. Another thing we have here, this feature to show the password. So now I'm going to log in with a user that I have prepared previously so that I can show the rest of the application. So here we have the application. So the first page is the accounts page in which we have all those accounts that have been previously saved and here we have those small cards in which each card has this list of methods that I can enable or disable for each of the bank accounts. And this will later on enable methods for transactions that I'll show later on. And I can also see here that we have positive values for balance in green and negative values in red. And for those cards, another feature I can have is that if I click on the balance, I can edit the value for that balance so I can update it. So here we go. And down here we have a small form to add a new account. So if I create a new account here, click save then it's already saved and I can maybe enable a few methods here so that I can use it later on so now to the transactions page if I click here the first thing we have is a form in which you can add new transactions so we can choose a date say last week with a value of 300 and it's expense so then I can say that I did my groceries there for the pay methods I have all the methods that are enabled for each account and here in each account I also have the balance for each one of them so I can use this account that I have just created and as I, press, as I press save, it's already here, it's registered. And here, down, down here, I have a list of all the transactions that I have done previously. And as I clicked saved for that, it updated the balance for these accounts based on the value of the transaction here. And one last thing for this project is to show its mobile responsiveness. So here I'm using this extension that simulates a smartphone so that I can show that on the accounts page, the cards are a little bit smaller, but it still fits on the screen. And down here, that form has a different shape to fit, this, to fit in the screen. And the same hap happens to the new transactions form. So it keeps the same format. And for the transactions, instead of using a table, I decided to instead create a card for a transaction so that the design wouldn't break in a smaller screen. And here I can see the description. So I have all the information that I have on this card that I would have previously on that table. And that's basically it. That's my implementation for this project and that is finance.